There was its sending of a high-level delegation to its adversary, South Korea. There was the rare address its foreign minister made at the UN General Assembly, and then the release of all its American prisoners. Lately, North Korea has been on its best behavior, but why? This is, after all, the same North Korea that not long ago threatened to decimate Seoul, Tokyo, and Washington with nukes. Chances are the North's outreach has something to do with this UN resolution detailing North Korea's crimes against humanity, along with a looming vote to refer a certain Kim Jong-un to the International Criminal Court. Not to be outdone, North Korea has responded with a report of its own, explaining its citizens live a worthwhile and happy life without any social and political uncertainty. Although its ally China, a Security Council member, would almost certainly veto any measure to bring its neighbor before the ICC, North Korea probably doesn't want it to come to that, which might explain its recent charm offensive. Then again, maybe North Korea is trying to stick it to China. Consider the timing of the prisoner release, just a day before the APEC summit kicked off in Beijing. Foreign policy suggests that was no coincidence, a subtle diplomatic insult designed to steal attention from Beijing. Relations with China have been dicey ever since Kim executed his Beijing-friendly uncle last year. While in Beijing, President Obama is meeting with his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping. Among their talking points, North Korea's nuclear program. According to 38 North, releasing two American prisoners was perhaps designed to deprive President Obama of a talking point when explaining his administration's reluctance to resume the six-party talks. Six-party talks aimed at ending Pyongyang's nuclear program broke down in 2009 after North Korea launched a ballistic missile. The U.S. says it won't rejoin the talks unless North Korea first takes steps to dismantle its nuclear facilities. North Korea has shown no signs of doing so, but is calling for the U.S. to engage anyway. It doesn't sound like that's going to happen. President Obama recently dismissed the idea that the prisoner release could open the door to a new round of nuclear talks. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.